seeded 16. This promises to be an interesting matchup. The Netherlands in blue serving, it's Brazil in white receiving. It's the second quarter final from the Cancun Hub FIVB four-star event here in Mexico. And the first point goes the way of the Netherlands. They take the ace serve courtesy of the net by Van der Veld. Big team for the Netherlands. Van der Veld's one meter 99. And he looks a little short. That's because, as I mentioned at the top of this one, Varenholz, two metres and 12. Gone against Alisson's block so many times. And Alisson has gone against him. And it'll be interesting to see the tactics for this one for both teams. So Brazil starting with Van der Velde. Host first serve. Not one to uh, write home about, is it, that one? It's a bit tight. Allison will get it. And he makes the block. He was always going to get something on it when it's that tight. Comes up with his first block point. Brazil lead by one for the moment. Net touch against Alisson, spotted by Brig Beatty and acknowledged by the Mammoth. That's a good serve. An ace from Van der Velde. He's had two now. So I have a side switch. Still very much early stages. Nothing to get alarmed about for either team. The Netherlands are here via Pool A. They beat Russia's Semenov and Leshukov. 21-14, 21-13. They then lost to Anders Moll and Christian Surum. 18 and 16. That put them in the winner's bracket round one. They beat Switzerland's Kratiger and Brer 15-12 in the decider. And then in the last round, they beat they beat uh, Phil Dalhauser and Nick Lusena of the USA 21-13, 26-24. It's been a real battle for the Netherlands. And the battle continues here against Brazil, who have only had three matches so far. They won both of their Pool D encounters. They beat Sweden's Helvig and Armen, 14. Lost a second to 15, but won the decided at 13. And then they beat uh, Andre Loyola and George Wanderley of Brazil, their compatriots, 17 and 18. That's brilliant play from Van der Velde. Jumped early, but good hang time and a good reach to find that corner. In the last game, that... Brazil played was against Russia's Semenov and Leshikov. They won that one also in three. Won the first to 14, lost to 18, and it was 22-20 in the decider. So they may have only played three games, but they had three very tough games. And that's what you would expect at a four-star. The best teams are here. So far, so good for the Netherlands. Keeping hold of their lead. Oh, good touch by Van der Velde. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Alvaro decided to go over on two again. Put enough on that one to get it off the block and away. Oh, 
but well played. Really good skills from Van der Velde. He just couldn't get that one as Alvaro flirts with the net again. Alvaro's felt the need to come all the way over to uh, Mr. Papa Douglas and uh, tell him he wasn't happy with what he was seeing on the other side of the net. That's a big waste of energy, isn't it? It's going to have absolutely no impact on the referee whatsoever. First unforced error from Van der Velde. And Brazil edge in front. Better that time. All square at the side switch. That's a sorry, not sorry. You see it from the serving line every now and again. And then from Alvaro, he's way off the net. He's got two huge players waiting for that ball to come over. And he's managed to use the net to his advantage to get it to dribble over. side out from the Netherlands it's tick tock tick tock as the score ticks over no one able to make a breakthrough at the moment Alisson hits that ball so hard Holst was trying to throw his hands across and get as close as he could. But to no avail. Allison with the serve. He'll go through to block. Van der Veld still the target as far as Brazil are concerned. Gives you a lot of options when you go from around about the middle of court because it means wherever the defenders sat in one half you've got a whole half a really big half to go at with the roll shot whereas if you go from close to the antenna you're rolling but you've only got so much space to one side of you because the sideline is also very close so it certainly opens up the angles when you go from the middle Took a chase from Alvaro. Oh, and he's got that swing away so quickly. Baronhorst was going for the height, but he hadn't closed the gap between his arms and the net. Good work from Alvaro. He's up early, fast swing, and straight down Baronhorst's side as he was late in the block. from Van der Velde. Into the tech timeout, just one separating the teams. A 
been an interesting few finishes for these two teams. The Netherlands had a 17th in Chittimo, then they went nine and five. And for Brazil, it's kind of been the other way, really. They had two finals. They were uh, second in Vienna, second in Moscow. And at the World Tour finals in Rome, they were 17th. Doha, 17th. And here in Cancun, in the first event, also 17th. Highest finish that Van der Velde and Varanos have had together was a third in Itapima. Going but far back as uh, 2019. Alisson and Albaro actually had a win in Kuala Lumpur at a three-star event, getting a 2019. And then a couple of seconds in Vienna and Moscow that I just mentioned. Free ball here for Brazil. A chance to go three in front. Well, that didn't quite work as it was supposed to. Unforced error from Alisson. I wonder whether he thought he'd put that up for Alvaro to have a swing. He didn't. And he wasn't quite ready maybe for the ball to come back to him. hoisted high into the clouds well hardly any there are a few around good dig from van der Velde. didn't stay high enough he's tried to hit an angle that's too steep and took it out with his hat Nobody purposefully goes out with the intention to make an error. And it's really important to understand that and not get frustrated with your partner when that happens. Although Alisson does not seem very happy, does he, at the moment, with the way things are going and with his partner. Well, that's not good for business. swing van der Velde. That's actually hammered and unless Alvaro is stood in exactly that spot he's never going to make the dig. Allison needs to stop this from happening but he's taking the line and maybe Alvaro was a little too far into the cross court. Errors from Brazil. Netherlands up by two. Timeout called by Alisson and Alvaro.
Oh, nice blocking from Varenhorst. Definitely put a roof on that one. He was all over the top of Alvaro, protecting him from the sun and protecting his partner from having to play that one. What a block. That's two really good points in a row from the Netherlands. Thought for a second that maybe Varenhorst had made the wrong decision to stay in at the net with Alvaro being so far off of it. But it worked out in the Netherlands' favour as Alvaro rolled it onto where van der Velde was waiting. I think someone's uh, just been caught in the crane jewels. That's going to hurt. And Alvaro's saying, that's you coming to me. It's certainly a collision. I think they're trying to work out whether or not there was a net touch because that ball was off and into the... You know, as Varanos is rightly saying, the ball is up into the crowd. It's not left anywhere. It's not hit the sand. Was the ball still technically in play when Alvaro went into the net? But Alvaro didn't really go into the net. He just caught Varenhorst, who then went into the net. Anyway, Brazil take the point. Oh, that's too tight. And so is that. Brazil should take this point. And they have done. As Alisson rubs it, rolls it, thumps it off of the block. There's a, a modicum of calm about a game of beach volleyball, but there's this undercurrent always that it could just boil over when things don't go a team's way. We've seen it, but you see it all the time. You really do. It's that kind of disingenuous, we're the nice guys until things start to kick off and it doesn't go the way that it should or there's something controversial. Alhauser and Lucena were the, I wouldn't say the victims, they were the perpetrators of that. They were 24 all. Lost the point. Went crazy, shouting at the referee. They got a red card and effectively lost the set. of the block another side switch Netherlands two away from taking the set Brazil really haven't showed what they're all about have they their unforced error rate rather high for where they would like it to be Block, so it's had to come back over. Brazil pull one back. Skills. It's well passed by Van der Velde. Baron Horst, two meters twelve. Great hands. Imagine him setting indoors. That would change the game, wouldn't it? Set point for the Netherlands. Oh, great pickup. There's going to be a chance here. Another chance. Now Varenhorst for the set. Oh, well played. Brilliant from Alvaro. 
He knew exactly what he needed to do. That was rolled onto him, put his hands together, played a high hands, shot straight back over. A little bit of volley to keep Brazil in the set. Side out required for the Netherlands. Van der Velde's gone for the cut, but that's been well played. You'll get another shot at it. Oh, that's the way you get it done. Van der Velde with the thumper. Netherlands take the set. 21-18, they lead 1-0. Netherlands with the serve to get the second set underway. In a good position, one set up, one set away from a place in the semi-final. And now one point in front. Barlow just didn't make a high enough contact with the ball above his head. Similarly, neither did Van der Velde with his error. We don't want to be throwing it too high in this win because there'll be trouble. There's trouble for Van der Velde with that block from Alisson. That was massive. Another classic where the wind's just caught that one. Ballenhorst unable to make the set, had to react. And he's fisted that right up for uh, Allison to thump it straight down, didn't he? So Brazil edge in front, only for a point. Netherlands now back level.
good news from Alvaro. You can hear the music that's being played by the DJ, Tony Rojas, who travels with the tour all over the world. And being as he's here with everybody and all the players for the next, as he has been in this bubble for three weeks, he's got to make sure that his DJ set doesn't turn into lift music. They're just constantly hearing the same thing. So he's having to be very creative, just as the players are on court, to try and engineer their victories. Oh, there was an early call of out, but it was dro dropping, wasn't it? May well have gone in. Varanor's not taking any chances, but there's a chance here for Brazil, which they've taken. That's a great swing from Alvaro. That far off the net, going all the way over the other side to that corner, with enough heat on it to beat Van der Velde. Could only go back cross court as it come outside the antenna. This is a great place for Brazil to be in right now. Three in front. Netherlands call a timeout. to court ready to have at it once again Alvaro with the serve that's well played Alvaro thought that might have been going wide so if you're unsure question for those of you watching something for you to think about if you're not sure if the ball is going in or out do you leave it or do you play it swing from Alisson no question that one was in and that question becomes more relevant when there's more on the line as well where are you in the match what's the situation if this one hits the sand or if it is in or if it is out. Good block from Alisson. Brazil really making a push now in this set. Great hang time from Alisson. Well, that's right to where Alvaro's waiting. Point opportunity here for Brazil. Wrapping it off for Varen Horst and away. This is a good run of points for Brazil.
A much needed technical timeout as far as the uh, Netherlands are concerned, but is it going to be enough to get them back into this one? Because Brazil really are bossing this second set. Which means that we will more than likely be going to a decider. from Van der Velde. That's a great serve. Pushing Alisson very deep. Didn't quite get his space perception right is uh, thinking that one was going to go long depth perception I should say not spatial perception spatial awareness certainly had it with that one for the Netherlands here in this situation and for those of you that have been in this situation trailing by as many as the Netherlands are knowing that this set is gone Kind of tell yourself, right, let's get a couple of points, get the side out, try and work something from service, see if we can get a bit of rhythm going, and then at least have that and perhaps some momentum we can take through into the next set to give us a good opportunity to start well and put the pressure on the other team. from the mammoth as he goes up and flattens the ball. Another chance for Van der Velde. And that one's into the net. Now it didn't catch Alice on. So 19-10. Two points required to lock this one up at one all and send us into a, a tie break to 15. Another point for Alisson and now set point for Brazil. It's been a non-event in this second set as far as the Netherlands are concerned. They really have not got going at all.
Lots of opportunities here still for Brazil to get it done. And they're going to do it the hard way then. And make the score look a little bit more respectable for the Netherlands. It's a great block from Van der Velde. Having a, a little bit of a switch up here with Baron Horst playing some defense. Oh, he's done it again. Maybe this is their, their secret tactic. Let's do the old set point down switcheroo and uh, take it from there. Not the best of passes from Alisson, but still had opportunities to do something with it. Alvaro with the chance to finish it off. <laughs> Another one! <laughs> this is brilliant! <laughs> Van der Velde is saying to Varanos, see mate, this blocking business is easy. Why can't you do that? That's huge! That is a huge block from Van der Velde. Well, this, this set should have been over ages ago as far as Brazil and everyone watching and supporting Brazil are concerned and probably those of you supporting the Netherlands so well that's this one done and dusted but talking about getting some rhythm and momentum Brazil find themselves now five in front but they still got set point chances but what a great end to the set from the Netherlands and they're sticking with it van der Velden again oh I'll tell you what <laughs> he made another but as it is, Alisson gets it off the block and away, and Brazil eventually wrap up the set. 21-15, it's one apiece. We're heading into a decider. But will Van der Velde start as blocker? Just hear the music to the infamous film Jaws, where, fascinatingly, the uh, music ended up being the monster. Who is going to be the monster in this one as we get this tie-break underway? We've seen a few monster blocks, notably from Van der Velde at the end of that second set. And it's Brazil who get the first point, the side out. This is the race to 15 to see who'll make it through to the semi-final to play Mol Sorum, the number one seeds. Oh, that's a huge swing, Van der Velde. Puts that one on the sand. Interesting arm swing from Van der Velde, really comes out around the ball. That's a great pickup. Another chance here for Brazil. Oh, I was going to say there was too much on that one, but it was perfect. It had speed and it was a high roll, but it was the perfect trajectory to bring it down onto the baseline. Massive, Alisson comes up with the block. Good time to get that. Hey. 
There's been no change in the tactics for Brazil. They've gone after Steven van der Velde, stuck with him. And so far, so good. Up 3-2 at the side switch. Brazil still in the driving seat here. They're siding out to go two in front and keep themselves in with a shot of making the semi-final. Massive again from Alisson. Such a good player, one of the greatest to have played the game and still at 35 years of age, mixing it with the best. Olympic gold medalist, world champion, two occasions. I remember watching him when he first started playing with Emmanuel and at that point everyone knew he was going to be good I remember that his Achilles heel at the time and teams cottoned on to it pretty quickly was to serve him very very short because he didn't get back out hadn't learned that so he would then come in and try and swing and he was getting blocked a lot but once he got the hang of that and then he developed his serving game and the rest of his game just came good it was been a joy to watch him, still is now, obviously. He's a seasoned veteran. He's been there and he's done it. He's got the T-shirts, he's got the medals, and now he's helping Alvaro. And hopefully taking Alvaro on that trip with him over the next few seasons to who knows where and who knows what in terms of medals and achievements and accolades. Good swing again, Alvaro, he's so fast with his arm that he's able to get that ball into a block that's not properly formed. So it's not got to cross the net to get the angle to send the ball down, which is why he does so well at getting block outs or rattling the ball in between arms. And then Alisson with a massive block. That's brilliant from him yet again. Right back at Van der Velde, nowhere for him to go. Oh, good touch. If you wanted to know whether or not Allison watches the ball when he's blocking, you have your answer. He certainly does. And then has the skill to be able to pick that off the net. But unfortunately for him, he's putting it a bit too far away from Alvaro. 50-50 blocks back in effect. Van der Velde is going to step in and stay in. 
He had a massive block run in that last set, although it's all for nothing. Such was the lead for Brazil. And then really when it mattered, Alisson gets a really good roll to the line. That's as good as it gets in terms of line rolls. Brilliant. Really good place now for Brazil. Three up. Second side switch, no, third side switch. They're at the good end. They've got some breeze into their face. Just have to be careful when setting the ball that it doesn't go back over their heads. I'm not really happy with that one, either with himself or perhaps with Alvaro for not picking it up. Alvaro saying nothing. Great touch. There's definitely some frustration levels with Alisson, and he's not happy. But that doesn't really help the situation, does it, with your partner? If you're getting frustrated at them, that's detracting from what you want to do as a team and what, what you're thinking about doing as well as an individual. Van der Veld's not happy either. So another massive hit. time Allison not quite getting his hands across the net to close the gap you see it quite often and when that happens the results always the player finds the ball going down his own side of the net it's a fabulous position to be in for Brazil got the cushion they need where they can keep siding out and they could side out for victory well played delicate touch from Alisson Getting closer and closer to victory here, are Brazil. It's a big hit, but it's just a side out point and nothing to give Brazil anything to worry about in that respect. It'll work for Brazil, it's nothing but unbridled fury for Van der Velde as he wasn't able to bring that one back. Went with the wrong arm, didn't he really? Could have brought that back with his left. Timeout called by the Netherlands. Brazil now two away from a place in the semi-finals. Now so close, but still at the moment, so far.
It is indeed show time. Time to show what these athletes can do. And for the Netherlands, what they need to do is get side out. Achieved courtesy of the ball off the hands of Alisson. But now for Brazil, a side out for them brings up a match point opportunity. He's done it again, Alisson. Looks like he's going to thump it cross court. And then a very delicate touch just over the top of the block. That's so well played. Right up until the moment he hits that, it looks like he's going to actually hit it hard. Three match points for Brazil. And they only needed one. It's an unforced error from Van der Velde, and it's Alisson and Alvaro who take the match. Two sets to one and book their place in the semi-final here in Cancun. <laughs> 